Imagine if you did the sun and the moon away. What would happen? Would there be eternal darkness? Or could you see nothing but an empty void? Well, my friend, it's all in your head. Or is it? Hello, Sun and Moon Show fans, and welcome back to Sun and Moon Show Theory, the series that loves that candy corn twink. Candy boy! Don't you dare call me that again. I do miss the lower guy. I believe Solar was his name, but that's not today's topic. In today's theory, we talk about two characters similar to Sun and Moon. And who are said characters? Or give me a drum roll, please! Dark Sun and Nexus. Yep, two characters who are oddly similar to Sun and Moon. Who am I kidding? They're already similar to Sun and Moon, but in a more villainous way. But you're probably asking, why are we diving into these two characters? Well, I believe they are the two villains for October's Nets Villain Takeover. So what is October's Nets Villain Takeover? Well, it's a thing in the Sun and Moon show where two villains take hold of the show and the name of the show gets changed for the month of October. So far we've had changes like the Eclipse and Lunar show from when the VR chat series first started and the Blood Moon and Rune Eclipse show from last October. So far there are a couple instances on how Dark Sun and Nets could be October's Nets villain takeover. Take the episode titled Ruin Joins Dark Sun in VR chat. In that episode we learn that Nets is looking for the Withered Shards. I don't care. What I do care about is I learned from our collective associate that you know about some wither shards, right? Wither shards. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Nexus, but there's no Oh, much don't I even know. start trying to lie to me. But what could he possibly want with the wither shards? Well, remember that baby wither from Welcome to Your New Home, Nexus? What do we have here? It took a long time to procure. <laughs> is that what I think it is? A weather storm. A baby version of it still, but slowly being cultivated. Slowly. Well, I believe Nexus is planning on using these shards to create the ultimate wither or make it into a full wither storm. But what about Dark Sun? Well, I believe he plans on being a part of destroying Sun and Moon's dimension. But you're probably asking, why though? Now, yes, I know Dark Sun has no interest in regular Sun's dimension, but I believe he has interest in what Nexus's plans are. I mean, heck. You may know Dark Sun's insane for making a freaking pocket dimension, but how does this prove that Dark Sun is part of October's Nitzvillain Takeover? Well, my friends, take the episode from the Lunar and Earth show titled Dark Sun Pays a Visit in VR Chat. In that episode, we learned that Dark Sun was checking in on both Lunar and Earth. I gotta get back to you a little bit. You see, there's a, there's a couple Side. things happening over here. Side. What? There, you're right in front of me. I'm cleaning up the kitchen right now, or I was. Son, until, uh... you are right in front of me right now. I'm looking right at Earth, you. Earth, we need to right back now. up right now. Don't back up, it's fine. Listen, I just wanted to come by and see if you guys were alright. Hmm, checking. Does that seem like spying to you? I believe Dark Sun and Ned says are spying on Sun and Moon's dimension, and they're waiting for the time to strike. And when the time is right, they'll destroy Sun and Moon's dimension. Why else would they be spying on them? Maybe because they're creeps? Who knows? My friends, it is time that I conclude this theory that around October, Sun and Moon have to face their biggest threat in the history of the show. I'll see you in the next theory, but until then, stay tuned for more videos.